Good morning and thank you, Mr. Chairman. I want to begin today by celebrating why Americans cherish our most fundamental right of free speech. It is how we, the people, innovate, create new things, make our own arguments stronger, and engage in the battle of ideas to make our communities better. Perhaps most importantly, it is the strongest tool people have to hold a politically, the politically powerful accountable. It is why regimes across the world shut down free speech, arrest journalists, and limit people's rights to question authority. Free speech is foundational to democracy, is foundational to America. Big tech is shutting down free speech. Its authoritarian actions violate Americans' most fundamental rights to engage in the battle of ideas and hold the politically powerful accountable. For the crime of posting content that doesn't fit the narrative they want people to see, hear, or believe, Big Tech is flagging, suppressing, and outright banning users from its platforms. Today we are joined by several of these people who have been silenced by Big Tech. They will have their voice before this subcommittee. Big Tech proactively amplifies its allies on the left while weakening any dissent, creating a silo, an echo chamber, a place where only the right ideas are determined by the faceless algorithm or a few corporate leaders. House Energy and Commerce Republicans have repeatedly condemned these censorship actions, even in the challenges to mainstream media when they turned out to be correct, as was the case with Hunter Biden laptop story. What's worse is the government collusion with big tech companies to censor disfavored views and be the, the gatekeepers of truth. Who deserves to be the arbiters of truth? Big tech companies and government officials? That sounds like the actions taken by the Chinese Communist Party. We had the CEO of TikTok before this committee last week where we expose them for their ties to the Chinese Communist Party and the censorship TikTok does on its behalf. Let me be clear, government censored Sponsored censorship has no place in our country. It never will. A healthy marketplace of ideas is integral to everyday American life and a healthy democracy. Social media is a place for us to connect with friends and a place where we should be able to share our views and learn from one another. Big tech companies in America have benefited from the liability protections given to them by Congress in 1996 under Section 230 of the Telecommunications Decency Act. As a result, they should be a forum for public discourse and a place for people to openly debate all ideas. But instead, censorship on their platforms shut down these debates and risk a long-lasting stain on our society by undermining the spirit of our First Amendment. At the same time this censorship is happening, big tech is failing to invest in tools to protect our kids. Snapchat, TikTok, Instagram, their platforms are riddled with pet predators seeking to sell illicit drugs laced with fentanyl and exploit our innocent children. Over and over, I hear from parents who've lost a child due to targeted content by a social media platform. And yet, instead of addressing this, big tech chooses to focus on shutting down certain speech. As, as I've said before, and I'll say it again, Big tech remains my biggest fear as a parent, and they need to be held accountable for their actions. President Joe Biden and his administration are on a dangerous authoritarian mission to institutionalize censorship of American voices and control the narrative to benefit their political agenda. They've admitted to flagging problematic content for big tech companies to censor. The CDC, the Surgeon General, the Department of Homeland Security, and other Are any of them working? Okay. Mine's not. <laughs> well, we know that these companies sought to establish a disinformation governance board 
with Department of Homeland Security to monitor and censor Americans online. This hearing provides us an opportunity to hear from those that have been silenced by big tech censorship. Americans must have their voices heard. And I look forward to hearing from our witnesses. Thank you, and I yield back.